Hello, so glad to be back with you again with another video. I hope and pray that uh, everything is going well for you. And I hope God bless you. you had a good night's sleep last night. And thank and pray God you have a good evening and a good night tonight. Pray God that he will bless you and always give you a rest and peace in your soul and in your mind. Even though all these things that's going on into the world, that's going on in the world is happening. And we still have to look to Jesus for our help and for our comfort. Our heart and mind and know these things going to happen because he warned us through the word of God that these things going to happen. That we got to just keep our trust in God and con continue to keep it on and don't let these things of this word change our mind because it's not hard to be hard against our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Know that one day he's going to come for us. He got a new heaven and earth is waiting for us and our loved ones that is going on and, and left this earth with their faith and believing in Jesus Christ, their soul and spirit is happy. In heaven, round God throne, praying for all of us that's down here in this world, that we continue to keep the faith through the hard times and the good times, continue keeping faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But I'm going to say a short word of prayer this time. Praise God, Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have washed us and cleansed us through a, your. You have washed us and clean, cleansed us through your blood that you shed it on Calvary Cross for the whole world and for us all. And it's all just open to each and every one of us. We can, we can accept you as our personal Savior. And each and every one of us have to accept you as our personal Savior. Okay, nobody save us but you. But we can bring those that will be here to you by listening to the Word of God and believing in the Word of God. And if they believe in the Word of God, they're believing in you. And bring them to uh, the, the uh, ability to know that you is real and you love them and you care about them. And thank God for all those already have the trust and faith in you, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord, they continue on. But while we're in this world of turmoils and troubles and trials and tribulations, we thank you, Lord, that you bring us through and you comfort our heart and our mind when we lean on you and, and depend on you. And, Lord, thank you, Jesus, for each and every one, Lord, even though we know we're having problems. As I said before, we know if we Christians, we read the Bible, we know what's going on. So there's no reason to fear. God said, fear not, I'm with you. I never forsake you, and I never will leave you, and we have to believe in that. Praise God, regardless of how bad he gets, we got to believe that Jesus still is there with us, and he's going to help us, and we're going to get through it. And thank God that we have a new home, new heaven, which is that's our new home. My new home is in the new heaven and new earth. Amen. Because we can see all these things going on in the world, and it's, it's happening worse and worse every day. Lord, have mercy on us, Jesus. Please, God. Lord, help us. Don't forget, Lord Jesus, the ones that is, is don't have and the ones that do have. We would pray, God, you bless them too. Continue to bless them too. Those that don't have, Lord, we pray you continue to work miracles for them in their lives and bring whatever they need to help them to survive in the, uh, every day, Lord. Make rooms for them, Lord Jesus, from somebody to have things that they can give and help them, Lord. Don't let them hold back on the needs of other peoples that could use things that they don't see that is important or something that they don't even want, that we can always give it and help somebody else. That to them would be like giving them a, a million dollars or something. It'd be, it don't have to be money. It could be clothes, a home, food, shelter, uh, or just a kind word to make them feel good and lift them up through the word of God. Let us do our part as Christians, Lord Jesus, know that we the redeemed. You have brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light. We've been sep we sep your blood, been washed through your blood that you shed it on Calvary Cross for everybody. Nobody can can say that you don't want them, that you don't you don't you didn't die for them. You did. You died for every living person that was coming to the, those that was already here and those that is coming and still coming and and you gonna your blood gonna cover them. If they accept you as their personal savior and ask you to help them to prepare for the next that you for your next coming in this world when you come back for the believers, praise God. Everybody can believe they want to believe. Those don't want to believe, that's their choice. Nobody can make you, nobody can can say nothing. It's, it's just up to us. God says up to you. P -p choose whom you want to serve. Choose choose who you believe in. Praise God. And I believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I thank the Lord He Save me from my sins, wash me, cleanse me up, and I pray God He keep me clean. I pray God don't let me have no even my mind and thoughts against nobody. I'm just here as a servant of the Lord to do to do this work, this spiritual work, praise God, to the glory of God. Amen. That I I, I shared God love with somebody else because I know what God done for me. And I know what He can do for you. He loves us all. We are the God's creations. We are His peoples. We are His children. And He care about us. Amen. So it's up to us. 
whether we believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God's Son or not, that's up to us. Nobody can make you. Nobody shouldn't be mad with you about it because that's between you and God. They have nothing to do with us. But we love you, and we're just so glad those that accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But I'm saying that we love you. We want you to find your way to Jesus through us. Praise the Lord, because this is on its way. He said for us that we've been, been redeemed of our sins to go back and tell our brothers and our sisters about him and open up their heart and mind to, to realize that he is real. And the first thing I would say to you is go to Bible-believing church. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Or, or if you don't know how to find it yourself in the Bible, or get with somebody that you know that know the Bible and that love Jesus and that will tell you the right thing. It don't mean you're not going to live long. It don't mean you're not going to be in this world. It means that you could be able to have help through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be able to make it through the hard times and the good times by having faith in Jesus. Amen. Your good times, you thank God for them. Bad times, you say, Lord, help me to get through them. And he will, because God loves us all. Praise the Lord. He just don't like the wrong things that we do. And we see these things in this world, and we don't like it either. Praise the Lord. And we that saved and been washed through the blood of Jesus, we don't want to go back and sin and be a part of this evenness in this world. So, Lord, help us continue to pray for those, Lord, is in need. And pray that some door, if we can't do it, pray for somebody who will open up a door for them that can't help them, that they will help them in the time of need all the way to the end of their lifetime in this world. Lord, you love us all. You care about us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Thank you, Lord, for all those that believe in you, that you have brought out of darkness into your marvelous light, meaning that we've been forgiven of our sins, and now we can live right according to the word of God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, pray to continue to harm upon the peoples everywhere, on the children. Continue to protect them, Lord, and keep them from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger, Lord. Lord, you know what's going on. You know what's going to happen before it happens, Lord. We put it all in your hand. Actually, Lord, please help us to get through this and stop this evenness, Lord Jesus. Please, I pray. Please, Lord, I pray and ask in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're going to have this going on. We still be praying. Hope God, he, he help us to get through it. Stop. Yeah, I, well, I say, I pray, Lord, help to stop the evil. But no, this going to be in this world. Uh, pray, God, until the new heaven and new earth. But we know some things in this world, God can't, can't stop. He won't let it happen because we are faithful. Being faithful in him and believing in him and asking him for help. Praise the Lord. He will help us. And if do we to stay on the wall with the Lord and we pray, God will answer our prayers and help those that we know, those that we don't know, to come to him and know him before the end of time. Praise God. We know there's going to be a second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And we pray God continue to feed them that is hungry, feed them that don't have a shelter, that he open up a way, some way, somehow, that he will bless them to get, they, get those things that they need. Praise the Lord in the end now. Those that can't do it, touch their heart and their mind, Lord, that they do it. We pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So that we know it's going to be a second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to tell us in the word of God. Matthew 24 and 27 tell us about Jesus' coming. Praise the Lord. And, we, and it is called the day of the Lord, that great day, that great day, which is the day of the Lord when he be coming back for his people's praise the Lord, those that believe in him. And those that don't believe now, by the time when Jesus come back, he know who are going to be ready. He said it's going to be so many going to heaven that you can, you're you not going to be able to, to count them. Praise God. That made me feel good about it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, it's, it's Matthew 24 and 27. Tell us, for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shine even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the sun of man be. And Matthew 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. He said, nobody knows when this day, the very day is going to happen. Happen. Only person that will know is their God the Father. Uh, Jesus said his father would be the only one would know the time and the season when he'd be coming back for the church, praise God. So we just look and pray in our heart and keep doing the things that God tells us to do. And now uh, all the, okay, the Bible, if you believe in the Bible, it's right. That's what you believe in. He said nobody knows when he's coming back. No, the minute or the hour, nobody but the father, which is in heaven, knows when Jesus will come back for his people. That second coming of Jesus will be coming back for his people. 
the believers, praise the Lord. And you can be a believer. No door's been shot. Door is open to each and every one, anybody that wants to come. But you got to, and we must be born again. We got to be, we got to repent of our sins and ask God to forgive us and realize that we're not doing right. We're not thinking right. And this is the not, not the right way. And God letting you know you can't go to heaven having that, that mean, evil, murderous spirit and don't care about nothing, nobody. That goes for a man or a woman, praise God. Even a, a person that reached the collar bit of the tea didn't know right and for wrong. God hold you for your sins. He hold me for my sins. And I thank God I asked for forgiveness to realize that I needed to be saved. And I asked God to save, save me and forgive me. And he did that and he gave me his Holy Spirit. So I thank God I've been redeemed through my sins and I love everybody through, with the love of God that I want to see them saved and serving the Lord too. And God told us that when you get saved, go back and introduce me to your to, to the world, to the people that will listen. Amen. To your brothers, to your sisters, your mothers, your fathers, your daughters, your grandchildren, and grandchildren, and help them to be prepared for my coming. But I am coming back one day, but nobody know but the Father. When the Father says time, then Jesus will come back and take the peoples out of this world that have believed in him and served him while they was alive in this world, praise God. And know that our soul cannot die, our body dies, but our soul and spirit will go back to God and we get to glorify our bodies and we'll live in heaven with no pain, no hurt, no ups, no down, no headaches, no nothing. Praise God, amen. No putting things in our body that's not right, that's killing us, that's helping us. We won't have to worry about none of that. Even our, the food we eat won't be the kind of food that we eat in this world that this body craves for. We have a better food. Won't we worry about <laughs> gaining weight or anything like that? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so St. Luke tells us 12 and 40, But ye therefore uh, read also, for the Son of Man comes as a, as a, uh, uh, the Son of Man cometh, at an hour where ye, where, wherein ye think not. So the Jesus is coming in an hour when we're not going to be thinking about him coming. That, that, well, that's just kind of closer to getting. That's the time he's going to come. When nobody thinking about God. And going back, those that serve God, someone will be going back into the world and, and saying, oh, I used to believe in that, but I don't believe in it now and all that kind of way. But I don't want to be one of them. And I pray sorry for those that do. And I pray, Lord, that you change your mind and come back to the Lord before it's too late. Praise God. First Thessalonians 5 and 2 tell us, for, for yourselves, no perfectly, no perfectly, that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Say, so Jesus is coming as a thief in the night. And you know the thief coming to break in your house. He's not going to tell you he's coming. When he come, you ain't going to know he's coming. He going he gonna to try to get that day or that night to come and break in your house or your car, whatever he's going to do. When he know that nobody know that he's coming. And Jesus said, that there, that that night, you won't, oh, they, whatever it is, day it is, or year it is, you won't be thinking about Jesus coming at that time. That's the time when he will appear. So we have to pray and be ready at all times for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We don't know when he's coming. He said it in the word. Praise the Lord. So we, we got to keep on keeping on with the Lord. And the more you pray, the more you read the scripture, praise the Lord, the more closer you get to God. And the more you want to serve God, the more you want to be ready when he come and you more you have love for your brothers and sisters, not for sin that they do. Praise the Lord, but you want to see them saved and go to heaven too. And that new heaven and new earth, praise God. Amen. Thank God for it. Amen. And uh, Roma, Revelation 16, Revelation 16 and 15 tells us, Behold, I come as a thief. I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked and they see his shame that means stay with the lord don't go back don't 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 give up on god don't, don't stop believing in him keep believing in the lord praise the lord and that's what it means that 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 you don't go back and open shame and all these kind of different things that happen in each in in your life praise the lord that would not be good for you and it won't be good for other people's praise God. Because once we say we believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God wants to keep on keeping on. Don't be a light for those that that don't know God. Don't don't make them stop believing in God. Looking at us the way we live and what we do, say we love God, and then what I'm saying, and then doing wrong. God is there's no wrongness in God. God is righteous. He's peace. He's forgiving. He forgive us. He'll forgive you. He'll forgive anybody. Because God's what they do. 
he forgive them. Even the world, people in the world might not forgive you, but God will. If you truly God is sorry from your sins, he will forgive you. And he'll help you to make it through the world. Because some people might not never forgive you. But he'll place you where you'll be useful to some, those that do believe in, in God and can and then can believe in what God can do. So Lord, don't 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 say you love God and then end up in an open shame. And your sins are exposed when you're not doing what the Lord said, because a lot of people in the world are using God's words for various things, but that's in the hands of God. I'm not to judge God. It is in anybody live, and every day you got a chance to be repent of your sins, and ask God to help you to stop doing what's wrong. So there's not no, any excuse that we can use God when our time comes for us to leave this world. So I pray God continue to strengthen you and help you. And I hope you read your Bible. I ain't say you got to walk around all day reading your Bible. Read your scripture. Read your Bible. However you have your relationship with the Lord. And those that don't have a relationship with God. And you hear this video. And you see the preachers on TV and everywhere. Get your Bible. Leave in church. And let them explain the things that you want to know. And they are, through the help of God, tell you what you need to know. And what you need to do to be ready for Jesus when he comes back. Praise the Lord. You're going to enjoy the little peace and joy that we do have in this world. Don't mean you have to box yourself in. You can have freedom, but just know you about your surrounds, so about your surrounding, watch and pray, and just whatever you can enjoy that's right in peace and sight to the Lord. Enjoy it and be thankful. Amen. Because if you let us live the no, another day, it's for a reason. Praise the Lord, so we can be thankful for it. There's no one to be there with us families, to be there to encourage our families, to be something way that God will be using us to his glory. Praise the Lord. So I pray for you. You pray for me. And I love you with the love of God in my heart. Know that God loves you. He'll never forsake you. He'll never leave you. He'll always be for you.